It was once known as a fishing mecca, but the Anglesey River is now almost barren. Populations of little flounder, gudgeons, gobies, and everything, it was a magnificent system. They've all gone. The Anglesey River is the hub of Anglesey. Three years ago, Anglesey locals noticed the river's pH levels drop. And it would happen very suddenly. And that's not, it's not all that unusual to see the river go acidic, but then it normally comes back quite quickly. This time it's, it has stayed acidic since that day. Fish died off, frogs have declined, and the local council put up signs to warn people of poor quality water and algae blooms. Occasionally, um, fish swim in from the sea, and those fish uh, die fairly quickly. It prompted residents to start a local community group to find answers. The group believes the pumping of an aquifer beneath the town by former mine operator Alcoa is drying out creeks that feed the river. Alcoa needs the water to fill its mine pit as part of its rehabilitation process. There are other alternatives to source water to fill up the hole in the ground, but um, this seems to be the, the cheapest and easiest one to take. The issue comes down to whether or not the aquifer is connected to the river system. Alcoa says it's not, and that a combination of factors including climate change are contributing to the river's acidity levels. If you look at Alcoa's historic operations of their power station, there's no evidence that pumping from the Upper Eastern View had an environmental impact on the Anglesey River itself. But some experts say there no, is a connection now. I think what was not expected is that this lowering of the groundwater level has actually led to what I consider very severe environmental consequences. Alcoa declined to be interviewed, but said in a statement it was yet to make a decision on a long-term water source. Rachel Clayton, ABC News, Anglesey.